Sunday. You know, just the same when people rise at the twelve bar blues. And a day for a day. Well, that's false too. It's never got to that, well, except for a plate of dinner in Hamburg. That was a sweet call, eh? The picture's <laughs> great, yeah. George Harrison, the sane one, speaks out. I'll up them all. You are my sunshine. Eight two five nine Tamra A. Truthful, then. You know, I mean, we could have, I mean, for, you know, it's things like sneaking behind his back and sort of saying it's a bit like school, isn't it? But you can see on the film that it is very like school and that really we should have sort of said, we want to call, you like, want to we call need it what we did on our holidays. Well, you know. Yeah. But it is very like that. There's a long shot of you sort of walking with him and it's just not you, you know. It's just, yeah. <laughs> Sort of, oh, tell me, old master, and that, and that tell thing, me, old master, and literally you that right. thing you said the other night. He went up in the helicopter, and he just thought he might slip you the answer. <laughs> <laughs>
something that I don't know, something that she heard, you know, she left me. Yes, yeah, she left me. You know, she even left me, never said a word. Well, I stand at my window, that's all right with you. It's all right, mama. Any way you do, you know, she left me. Yeah, she left me.
guys. <laughs> Is anyone sort of thinking of this like making an album or more like sort of doing a lot of numbers then to be able to play them all one after the other? Because I'm I still mean, thinking... Half to play them and half like I mean, half that we've got yeah. to record them and if we learn a few... To you know, say, say we did half of them this Thursday and then they didn't have to film the next lot of rehearsals or whatever. Yeah. And then we do another lot and do them in the same place, you know. If we can't, it's just the how we can't learn another five or six good verses. We've just got dumb and down, and I've got a feeling just how they should be. But we hit it.
My drum boots. They're nice. Excuse me. Oh. Have you got them, all right? Which ones? Those. These ones? Yeah. Pierre Cardin, Paris, France. <laughs> oh, yeah, they never fit me any of those things. Sevens? Sevens, no. Oh, seven, seven. Come, seven come eleven. Seven, seven come eleven. eleven. The others are... Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. of one of your new tunes from the new album. Together, please. Uh, together? Okay. Guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Get out of the phone. I don't think of one, actually. Uh, what, what's the new tune? It's very hard. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Can't remember anymore. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, baby. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Those were the days, my friend, I thought they'd never end. Ah, la la la, la la la, those were the days, my friend, I thought they'd never end. I heard the days, my friend, all together now. The days, my friend, I thought they'd never end. Those were the days, my friend, I thought they'd never end. Those were the days! Look, my hook is up. If he's a chance.
Yes. Yeah. Everybody right. talking about ministers, sinisters, bannisters, canisters, bishops, bishops, rabbis, babbies, popeyes, goodbye. Yeah. All we are saying is give peace a chance. Invitation, meditation, congratulations, oh boy. All we are saying is give me a chance. Yeah. <laughs> All we are saying yeah. is give me a chance. Keep going. Give chance a piece. Give peace a chance. ジョンタタシは、あの、トロントに来ています。トロントに来たのは、あ、来年の6月、え、7月に、あ、平和祭をここで大きな平和祭を催すためです。トロントには一昨日来て昨日はものすごく忙しくて今やっと起きて朝起きてそしてブレックファストルームに来て朝食の部屋ですね行って、そしてコーヒー朝のコーヒーを飲んでるところです朝のコーヒーを今飲むところですその前に今ジョーがギ
平和に機会を与えるですか<笑>それでだもんだからあの今世界中での若い人たちが平和のために集まって平和運動を方々でしてますけどそういう時にあのまあ今平和の歌っていうのは新しい歌はあんまりないもんですからみんなこのギフィーサーチャンスを使ってそしてあ平和運動をし,してくださってますそれもただ自然にそうなってであのワシントンでもこの間モラトリアムでも何千人って人が集まった時に自然にみんなギフィーサーチャンスを歌い出したそうです私たちもそのことを聞いてとっても嬉しく思ってます日本にも2人で変わりたいんですけれども、うん、時々日本がとても懐かしくなってそれで今、まあ、行こうかなんて2人で急に言うんですけれどもなかなか暇がなくて行かれませんこの間インドにあちょっと休暇で行ったんですけれども私休暇が休暇じゃなくなってしまってあんまり忙しくなってしまったので<笑>急いで逃げ出してロンドンに帰って。帰ってきましたその時もよっぽどインドからあ日本にちょっと立ち寄って帰ろうかと思ったんですけれどもそれも忙しくできませんでした来年はきっと日本に行かれるんじゃないかと思ってますで今若い人たちの間はもう平和ってことがとてもあ新しく考え出されてきてそれであのー昨日集まった人昨晩ここに集まった人たちの中で1人、うん、1970年は1970年じゃなくて平和記念としたらどうかっていう話が出ましたで私たちもそれとてもいいと思うので、うん、平和記念2年というふうに平和運動者世界中の平和運動者がそういうふうに、うん、するように例えば昭和1年2年っていう新しい年号を作ろうじゃないかっていうことになりましたでこの平和祭では私たちは国旗も国旗じゃないなんていうした平和旗ですか<笑>平和の旗をあひ翻すことになりましたその平和の旗をやっぱしあのただ真っ白なのがいいんじゃないかってことになりましたっていうのは真っ白だったらあ都合のヒーツでも何でもみんなすぐ窓の外に掲げることができますしそれからあなんかいろんなマークは必ずそのどっかの組織一つの組織を代表するものになりますけどそういう全然マークがなくてその一つの組織に頼らないで、うん、誰でもが入ってるという意味でただ真っ白な旗それからあのよくあの戦争の時に降参する時に旗を掲げるのは白い旗ですねでそういう意味で私たちは、うん平和に祝福するっていう意味でそれであの戦うんじゃなくてその祝福するんだっていう意味で穏やかな一番穏やかなあの旗なんじゃないか白い旗が一番穏やかな旗なんじゃないか,ないかって話し合ったわけですでジョンと私はいつも、うん、夜あの部屋に引き取ってからその日やったことなんかいろいろ話してそしてあまた平和運動のためにいろいろアイディアが出てきて大概一晩に20ぐらいアイディアがあってそれでもうそれをどうしていいかわかんないぐらいあどんどんアイディアが出ますそれで毎日世界中の方からいろいろお便りいただいてそういう方がみんなアイディアをくださいますそれであなた方ももしアイディアがあったらどうしてし私たちに送ってください私たち毎日一生懸命パンが来る手紙はみんな見るようにしているんですっていうのはあのやっぱしあの手紙をくださる方はあの私たちのことを考えて一生懸命帰ってくださったんだと思いますからあの随分たくさん来るんですけれどもでもみんなやっぱしあの紙くず缶を放っちゃうようなことにしないで一応目を通すようにしてますでもとっても忙しいもんですからあのもしできたら手紙は何か簡単にしてくださいそれからあの要件を先に書くようにしてくださると何のことだか分かります手紙で自分の,その一生のことかなんかをずらずらずらずら書いて5ページ目ぐらいに要件が出たりすると本当にもうその場に紙ずつかごに放っちゃいたい気がしますっていうのもあんまり手紙来るか例えばインタビューなんかしてる時とかちょっと朝食のコーヒーを飲んでる時とか
本当の二三分を利用して読むものですからそういうことになってしまいます日本も今雪が降っているのかなと思ったりすることがありますジョンは日本に行ったことがあるのですけれどもただうーんヒルトンかなんかに泊まって1週間ぐらいいただけですからまだよく日本を知りませんでも私がいつも話をして、うん、東京がどんなに発達した都市かとか京都がどんなに美しい都市かそういったことをみんないつも自慢してます、ね、ジョンもとても、うん、イギリス人であることに誇りを持ってるので。はまたイギリスの歴史をいつも私に話したりして2人でいつもそういうあのなんかインフォメーションを交換し合っていますでは皆さんお元気で「なおばか早くお会いできることを願っていますさよなら」Hold fast now.、Yeah. So you can't say Christ、uh, was a flop. But see, he went into the charts、oh, and out、yeah. again, you know, and all the, all the hangers on have left, like、uh, the, what is it, the bandwagon climbers, which was the church and all that, who set up the big industry around the Beatles or Christ or whatever the industry is. And that's all sunk down, and they've been fighting over the gold and, and all that. And, but the, the records are still there. You know. So, you think there's going to be a lot of people going back to God this century? I think so. I think because there's always people saying the same thing over and over again, like Christ and, I don't know, Keats or any of the, the really great poets or whatever, the really great whatever, Beethoven, that, all are saying the same thing. But they're saying they're giving their version of their experience, you know, like an, a primitive painter like that woman that's been having all the publicity lately, a funny smiling woman. says, This is Emily, and she paints what they call primitive painting. I mean, she had no training, she didn't start till she was 70 or 40. But、mm -hmm. well, she's expressing the same truth in her way, you know. So, all the people are saying the same thing is all down the centuries. But I think there is, it is getting better. And that Woodstock event in America was a massive, massive spiritual awakening in America. And a massive, massive meeting of like early Christians, if you want to call it that. But there w a s more people there than the whole of New York. It was the biggest living mass of youth all getting together, and another quarter of a million of them trying to get there by train.、Mm. And of course, it was written up as a bit of a riot and that. But all that really happened was a few people were, got mud on them. Yeah. I've heard it from people that were there, and it was a, a meeting of a quarter of a million people with peaceful intentions and wanting to change the, the thing non violently. And、uh, from the messages I got from like uh, bit, uh, Cosby, from Cosby s i l v e r m a n、mm. and the people that were there at Woodstock, they were saying it was the most amazing spiritual experience ever. And the Isle of Wight was too, those 250,000 people. That's the first big scene I've been to. All there. The, 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 the feeling there is, is unbelievable. It's like when you went to church at eight, you know, because you,、um, in the, the, there is a feeling in, in most churches of,、yeah. of mm -hmm. spiritualness. Whatever goes on there, there's still a building w a s built for God in a way.、Mm -hmm. So that you get that feeling in church when you're a youth. But when you go in a crowd of 250,000 people who are peaceful, You get an amazing buzz, you know, it's a big high. A big high to you, of course. That was John Lennon. Don't forget to sing the chorus. You all seem to be just listening to the chorus. The chorus goes, What a shame, Mary Jane. The chorus is the most important. All right, Spot. Hang on, I'll take it. One, two, three, one, two.
Ringo's completed a great album. Uh, I think it's called um, Sentimental Journey, it's called. And it's all the songs that Elsie and Harry and his uncle and aunties, that's his father and mother, they used to all sing and have parties all the time. So he sings all these old songs with the sort of old arrangements. He doesn't do a sort of modern arrangement. And it's really a nice album. Then John's doing an album, a Plastic Ono album. I think he's going to do that with Phil Spector. And I think Paul's doing an album which is... I should imagine, like, if you remember Eddie Cochran did a, a couple of tracks, like, Come On Everybody, where he played bass, drums, guitar, and sang. So Paul's doing this sort of thing, where he's going to play all the instruments himself, which is nice, mm -hmm. because he couldn't possibly do that in the Beatles. You know, if it was a Beatle album, automatically, Paul gets stuck on bass, Ringo gets on drum. So in a way, it's a great relief for us all to be able to work separately at the same time. And so maybe if, um, if I get a chance, I'd like to do an album as well, just to get rid of a lot of songs. 
Mm. So maybe I'll just do a George album. A George album. <laughs> and so I'll try and get that together sometime during this summer. And I expect by that time we should be ready to do a new Beatle album. In fact, some people may be put off at first hearing it sounds maybe um, my attitude when we decided to use it as an album was that um, people may think we're not trying, you know, because it's really like a demo record. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's worth so much more than those other records because you you can actually get to know us a bit more. You know, it's it's a bit more human than the average studio recording. I'd certainly, you know, don't want to see the end of the Beatles. And I know um, I'll do anything, you know, whatever Paul John Ringo would like to do, you know, I'll, I'll do it. It's the end of the Beatles like maybe how people imagine the Beatles. The Beatles have never really been what people thought they were anyway. So, in a way, it's the end of the Beatles like that, but it, I, it's not really the end of the Beatles. The Beatles, you know, are going to go on till they die.